Morning everybody. Um, we're up at Northumberland this weekend. And we're in our little wigwam at a place called Potter Doodle Do at Scrabbiston. It's a campsite and wigwam site. Um, I'll just give you a quick whiz round. This is the wigwam. It's a mess that we make when we come in. Um, there's a sleeping bit. Really comfy. This place has a little, little kettle in the background. And more importantly, a little heater. This is our base for three days. And we are pretty past six. And we're just thinking of heading off to Lindy's Bar for sunrise this morning. Hopefully there'll be one. Um, so, fingers crossed, we'll go sunrise and I'll catch up with you later. Bye. And we're out on Holy Island. And you can see in the background the most beautiful sunrise. Seven years we've waited for this sunrise. And I'm struggling with composition. I don't really do silhouettes. So much as that sunrise is absolutely beautiful, I am struggling to find a photo, which is bizarre and quite depressing. The tide is out at the moment. I think it might just be on its way back in. See the sun reflecting off the water. Um, and the whole shoreline is scattered with these upturned boats. Unfortunately these days it's a bit of a mess. I suppose it's a working area so it's entitled to be. Um, but the whole place is quite picture postcard pretty. <laughs> all the bright red tractors. So, a little bit on the chilly side. We're at about zero degrees. There's a thick, thick frost on the ground, as you can just see. Um, and the whole of the sky, I'm, just, I'm not making you dizzy here, I hope. Um, the whole of the sky is just lighting up with beautiful pastel colours. Um, particularly over the back, over the priory. Uh, just in the background here all lighting up beautifully. <sighs> Frustrated. I just want to pack up and head off to the Lake District. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be practicable really. But we'll keep trying. I'll find the composition eventually. And I'll catch on with you later. Bye! Good morning or <laughs> nearly good afternoon. We've come off Holy Island and had a lovely hot chocolate and scone at the barn at Beale and now we've headed down to Scremiston Bay which is just down from the wigwams that we're staying at. Um, Mother Nature has put a bit of a spanner in the works and as you can see nary a cloud to be seen. It's still amazingly peaceful just the sound of the waves crashing in. Um, you can see the white stuff you can see in the, behind me is actually frost on the sand. It's about zero degrees. I actually got any warmer at all today. Um, but it's very, very pleasant. We've come down to try and do some long exposures on the rocks of the seafront. I'm not overly enamoured at the moment, so I'm just going to have a wander around and see what I can see. I'm not taking photos for the sake of it. And from here we are heading down to St Mary's Lighthouse for sunset which is at a very civilised time, about quarter to four and then we're heading off into Newcastle uh, to the quayside which we believe is illuminated very similarly to Media City at Manchester um, to do some nighttime photography which will make a change, haven't done any for ages so in the meantime I hope you all have a good day and we'll catch you later. Bye. Hi there. Another change of plan. <laughs> we, um, we were intending to head down to St Mary's Lighthouse. I forgot what I was saying then. For sunset. However, it was slightly longer than we'd expected to get down there. So we've changed plans and come to Bamra. And the tide is out. The sea is the most, I've no idea if you can see this, 
but the sea is the most gorgeous blue colour, aquamarine blue, it's lovely. Uh, it's about half past three I think and we're intending to stay here for sunset, still intending to go down to Newcastle um, to go to the quayside afterwards, let the worst of the traffic die off. But the light is amazing, you, I'm not entirely sure you can see in the background, possibly behind my head, we've got just over there somewhere, whoops, you've got the Fan Islands and I've never been here and seen it so clear. The sun's catching on the white building uh, over on the Fan Islands. It's absolutely incredible. The sky is still devoid of clouds. We're just hoping the next hour brings some cloud cover over to hopefully give a good sunset. I might even take a photo today at some point. Bye! Morning everybody. We've um, oh, come back down to <laughs> Bamburgh Beach. I've just managed to tread in a huge puddle of frozen sand and water. So you could be about to see me go on my arse. Didn't realise this was frozen. Excuse me a second while I try and find somewhere safe to stand. <laughs> we were first here this morning. We left a little bit earlier because the sunrise yesterday started about an hour before it should have done. And we were treated to a glorious, glorious sunrise out at Bamburgh Castle. The remains of it you can still see in the background. I've discovered that my boots are incredibly waterproof because the sea is starting to come in. I wouldn't think it was due in for a little while yet, but it's on the turn. I think I might have actually taken some photographs this morning. I've not really been feeling the love for it this weekend. However, I've persisted. I'm still contemplating taking a, a jaunt over to uh, Horswater and the lakes for tomorrow morning because there's snow on the mountains. However, everybody is scattered about. The place is heaving now with photographers. You can see lovely patterns in the cloud behind me. The light's just starting to hit on the tops of the rocks in the background. Yesterday evening, we were down at um, Newcastle on the quay, which was quite good. The, the uh, Millennium Bridge all lit up. I got a photo before the, the ripples started in the in the Tyne and it was uh, surprisingly quiet for a Friday night I thought. We didn't get home till gone midnight and then we were up at well, six o'clock this morning but it was definitely definitely worth it. Turn you round you can see, well, you might not be able to see but there are photographers everywhere you look but this morning was Definitely worthwhile getting out of bed. Not quite sure what the rest of the day's plan is, whether we're going to head off to Alnwick or Alnwick, or whether we're going to pottle around here. However, it was definitely worthwhile getting out of bed. So, and the sea, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on here, is that most gorgeous blue again. It's got to be the light. So, before I manage to fall over, arse over tit completely, I shall sign off and probably see you later. Bye!